Hi, I'm Philip Propolis, and I'm here with my good friend Jacob Dubay, and we're here to support breast cancer awareness here in the month of October. Our goal here is to do a challenge, and what we call the Pink Drink Challenge. So what is the Pink Drink Challenge exactly? Simply, if you have a pink drink lying around the house, whether it's Sobe Life Water, Pepto-Bismol, you're going to get the drink and you're going to pour it on yourself. And it's kind of similar to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, but with one significant catch. If you're a guy, you're going to go get any girl and you're going to have her dump the pink drink that you, of your choosing onto yourself in uh, Awareness of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And now if you're a girl, you're just going to simply get any other gender to dump the pink drink on you. Another great element to our challenge is that using a pink drink, we want to see how many people can actually chug a pink drink while getting dumped by their pink drink. So somebody will have a bucket of that pink drink, but they can also be chugging something while getting dumped. And the idea is to get as many participants as possible. So if you're nominated, we'd love it if we saw you get drenched in pink. And if you decline, we'd like to see you donate at least $20 to your choice of a breast cancer awareness society. Now for the pink drink challenge, it's really important that regardless if you fulfill the challenge requirements or not, if you're nominated, you should really just donate just because. This is a great opportunity to really hit a cause that's close to home for many. Both men and women have been affected by breast cancer, and whether you know somebody personally or not, that can change at any moment. That's the bad thing about breast cancer, you really don't know when it's going to happen. For me, that was a few years ago when I found out my Aunt Luann had been diagnosed with breast cancer. Now often, you're hoping for the best, but honestly, in a lot of cases, the people that you love that you end up finding out have breast cancer don't, doesn't really turn out well for them. Luckily in my case, my aunt is finally breast cancer free, and she's been doing very well with her life, and especially with her health. Our whole goal with the Pink Drink Challenge is really simple. Let's raise some money for a really good cause while supporting those around us who have been affected, who may know somebody that's been affected. It just all comes together in culmination to make a really big difference. So after you guys watch this awesome video up ahead, please donate to a good cause, nominate somebody, and let's make an impact. Guys, this could really end in October, but let's send this as far as we can. This could go into November, into December. Let's send this and keep this going. Start all over again in next year. Guys, we are the change we need. And all of us have the potential to really kick breast cancer and finish the fight. Hi, I'm Philip Propolis, and I'm here with my lovely assistant, Alyssa Moser. <laughs> And this is the Pink Drink Challenge 2015. This is for everybody with breast cancer and those that know people that have breast cancer. This is for you. And I have a challenge for all my Facebook friends to do this. And I have four nominations. Jacob Dubay, Ronnie Tufer, Quinn Albright, and Colby Kephart. Let's get sticky with it. Okay, I'm doing the pink drink challenge. I have lovely Alyssa Moser and Lexi, Lexi Dover. Dover, I should know that. And they're gonna pour this lovely pink stuff on me for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I have a few nominations though. My Aunt Luann who survived breast cancer and her fight with that. And Tyler and Chelsea Simmons. <laughs> and Paul Wagner, because I know he'll do this. And yeah, those are my nominations. And as well, this goes to everybody else on Facebook. Please follow through with the challenge. It's for a good cause. And make sure you donate money after you do this to breast cancer awareness.